good, YouTube? We are finally back with another, another video. video. We have missed y'all so much, and we know that y'all have missed us. But today, we are dropping a Q&A to update y'all on what we got going on. We posted a poll on our Instagram, told y'all to drop some questions. So we're using those questions that y'all dropped on our Instagram. Go follow our Instagram. And <laughs> so yeah. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Make sure you like, like comment, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Check out the old videos. We got a lot of old challenges. And yeah. Funny videos. We've been on here in a box, but you know, we've been doing school. We graduate this year. <laughs> videos coming make sure y'all join the fam so you can enjoy the times with us also it goes question one prior to being engaged did you ever wonder when it was going to happen of course i wondered when it was going to happen but i knew that we was in school and we was trying to like get ourselves together and you know finish school so okay okay that's a good answer so I was patient, you know, I didn't want to be like, well, when are you going to engage me? You know, I wasn't like, you know, it was just like. Proposed to you. Yeah. Proposed to me. Next question. How many kids do your guys desire to have? Two. Two. Maybe three. Maybe. Depends on our second. You won't be that close to age. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> But we not having kids, so, so yeah, so like you don't gotta worry. Twenty seven, y'all. Like later, later. Twenty one. Yeah. You got some years. And I'm trying to really gain patience with myself and others. <laughs> Just trying to gain patience, man. Before we have kids, for real, because I want to be patient with our kid. You know, you don't want to be irritated with your kid all the time, like. I be seeing people at work like yelling at their kid and you know getting irritated with their kid. Like I just wanna be like we're on the same page. Okay. <laughs> we gonna see. What are three things you guys have taught each other about life? Hmm. Three things patience has taught me about life. Number one, How patience. Number two, these are my answers, not yours. So one, patience. Two, love and caring. And um three. Don't trust these niggas. Um, what? <laughs> My three. Well I like to explain the third one. I'm saying like she told me she didn't talk to me like how to just trust her. She opened my eyes to just trust her because everybody else. Yeah. You know, but yeah. My three would be, of course, patience, because, you know, you have to learn how to deal with each other, you know. Two would be how to love uh, forever and ever and ever. And three would be how to be a better person. Daryl has really taught me how to be a better person, like how to have more positive views on things, you know. Not saying I'm a negative person, y'all, but, you know, it just be like, dang, like, some things just be like, make you feel negative. Like, I don't know how to explain it, y'all. But if you give me, you give me. If you don't, you don't. All right, next question. What are each other's icks? Things that irritate the other person about you. Nah, patience oh, don't got okay. nothing for real. But her main thing is that sleeping in all day. When I be up early, I be up early. Early, ready to get the day started, do something. She be back there. Yo, I have been, <laughs> I have been like adjusting to that because yes, I love to sleep in because I be very tired. But since I know he likes to get up early, some days I do try to get up early with him and stuff. But some days be like, bro, I just got off of work the last night, like, hey, like, you know what I'm saying. But if y'all sleep in, let me know, cause I know I'm not the only one that be sleeping in all day. I can sleep till twelve, but I try not to, cause you know, gotta get the day started, be productive throughout the life. Mine, really nothing. Dream honeymoon destination. Somewhere far away, on a beach. 
luxurious hotel. Yeah, like hot tub in the hotel or house, whatever we're doing. Mm -hmm. But that's gonna be our honeymoon, y'all. That's the dream. That's gonna be our honeymoon. And if you don't know, we're engaged now. But yeah, we're trying to do a big honeymoon for her. So we will see. Yeah, but we're trying to do a big honeymoon. Like mine would be like Hawaii. Like water <laughs> But I mean, you get married in Hawaii too. But um, <laughs> yeah. Next question. <laughs> Favorite date vacation y'all have been to? I would have to say Miami when we got there. If she gonna say Miami, I'm gonna have to go with <laughs> most memorable is what the question was. Favorite date slash vacation. Mm. I mean, we we do dates. I was gonna know. say like, like we like bowling, Myrtle Beach. Yeah. When we went for our spring yeah. break the same year. That's a good one too, yeah. I mean, everywhere we go, we live, so. And we'll try to throw y'all in some, you know, flashbacks of that. Next question. How you put up with me? He he did this one. It's not hard to put up with, yeah. Because I love him. I'll always put up with Daryl. <laughs> How do you guys handle days where you're just not in the mood for each other? I just punch her in her face and then run away for the rest of the day. No, I'm just playing. We never really had days like that, like, you know. Like, of course we get irritated yeah, with each other right. and we exchange words and looks and, and motions and physical punches sometimes, what? but it's all love. Nah, it's he's all lying. Love. I'll never punch him, bruh. Alright, alright. See how you trying to act? Alright. So now they don't think I'm gonna be me. Alright. Next question. When's the wedding? Probably 2024. Yeah, summertime. Yeah. Summertime or well, we spring. But it's definitely gonna be 2024. We gotta start planning now, so you know. But we don't want nothing like you know, y'all see. Y'all know y'all gonna see. So, you know, uh, when we all be giving away things. We would do giveaways frequently, just as you support more and more and more, like we get to know your name. Like we not yeah. big, we don't got that many supporters. Yeah. We see your name if you comment, if you saying good video and stuff like that. Like we're locked in. Yeah. If you locked in, you will get something. We got Little stuff to give away. We gonna have giveaways. They coming. So make sure you subscribe. You repost. You share to everybody you know. Yeah. And we'll get follow you a giveaway. Follow everything. Like, yeah. We about to start a gaming channel. Go follow that. That's gonna be right here. Like somewhere right here. You know what I mean? Go follow our Instagrams. Go follow our gaming Instagram. Go follow everything. Mm. How did y'all know the? How did you know it was the right time to propose? I had already been saying I was going to propose to patients after school, and we are now in our senior year at, in college, about to graduate, and our five year was coming up, so that's what really made me say it's time to go ahead and propose November 3rd, 2022. Girl. What are a few things you guys want to accomplish within marriage? Like we said before. Just more to, patients. go ahead. I was just going to say more things. Just to keep growing with each yeah. other and to build our family later on yeah. down the line. And have our dream home, have our dream jobs. Well, really don't know it, but you know. <laughs> Make sure we show love to each other every day and pour all the way yeah. into each other and communicate how we yeah, feel. Communication is key, y'all. Yeah. Key. That's the number one. That's the main things. Yeah. Any YouTube goals? Of course. To just be more consistent <laughs> yeah, this year. Consistent, yeah. Because I know we wasn't consistent like that last year, but you know, I don't know. It was 
like we was, but it, like Vlogmas, we did Vlogmas every day. That's but, just so long, so you know. Yeah, and I mean, some people tune in, some don't, you know. I'm not saying it gets this It's just hard. We got a lot of stuff going on, so we're trying we got to a lot going on. keep this pushing through. Trying to drop these bangers for y'all, so make sure you like this video. Yeah. Keep tuning in. What's something that y'all really want to prioritize this year? Consistency, like we said before. That's the number one thing. We want to drop bangers for y'all almost every day. I'm going to say <laughs> time management. Yeah. Managing my time between school and work. And YouTube and Twitch streaming and feeding patients, feeding the dogs, and you know, there's a lot going on. So, time management. Yeah, no, one thing. Yeah. And we got a lot. Yeah. Y'all gonna see some transition soon, you know? How do y'all keep our relationship healthy and ongoing? Communication. <laughs> Honestly. That's the number one. Communication is the only way, y'all. If y'all want a healthy communication, like, if you don't like something, that the other person does, you need to let them know. Talk to them about it. That's the main thing. Don't keep it bottled up. I mean, that's what I mean. And then the other person will never know how you truly feel. But yeah, communication. Is Subway overrated? Yes. Yes. We don't eat Subway. <laughs> we don't eat Subway, though. We haven't I used Subway to, in a long time. When I was a kid. But yeah. <laughs> Favorite memory of each other? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of memories, y'all. <laughs> We have a lot of memories. We have I think it would have to be us moving in to our first home together. Like that was very a good memory to me. Like moving on, being on our own, you know? Oh no. Like, like when me and Patience started getting our, our stuff for our apartment and like searching for yeah. it and going to get it, like went through a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> so I don't know. I think like in there somewhere. Yeah. Like building up to you know that was the big that was a big deal to us. I mean, of course, you know, we moving out on our own and now we got our own place for almost two years. So. Well. <laughs> Question. Challenges when moving in together. Hmm. Hmm. Like I said before, you know, I'm an early morning, she not. So that's a challenge, clearly. But you just compromise, and you know, I just come in the living room, play the game while she's still asleep. And then she wake up and come in the living room when she up. And like food, we always got to figure out what we yeah, both about yeah. to eat. Every not worried day. about just Multiple yourself times, anymore. Like, yeah. It's your family. And we gotta buy food for two. Every like, time. Yeah. But once we get a family, it's gonna be food for like folks. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> then like we work together, yeah. so we get off work and we gotta decide who gonna cook what or what we about to do. Yeah. And... Just, yeah. yeah that's, like, that's really we got it. Got the dogs. Like... We got the dogs. Somebody gotta take them out. Somebody gotta yeah. feed them. Somebody right. gotta give them the shots yeah. and eye drops. Like, who gonna wash the clothes? Yeah. Who gonna yeah. clean this bathroom? Yeah. Who gonna clean this kitchen? <laughs> Everything really all trash. Yep, yeah, you just I don't know. Get it done. I wouldn't say compromise. I had to use that word before. But I ain't gonna say compromise. You I don't know the word. Readjust. Like... I don't know. I don't know. Like instead of one is two, if that makes sense. Like, I, yeah. Other than that, it ain't really been like just been. Also different because we used to live with our parents. Like this is our first time living <laughs> on our own. On also, yeah. so. Uh, we live, we live. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much all the questions. That's all the questions y'all got, man. That's all the questions. Hope we answer them too. You know, hope hope y'all enjoyed yeah. this video. Like. Make sure you like. Comment. Comment. Subscribe. And subscribe. And turn on those post notifications because we're going to be dropping bangers. So, so.
That's all for the video. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.